Hello, leaders of Arise South Africa. I might as well call you leaders because if you're on this channel, you are learning how to lead in your nation and you're learning how to take responsibility and arise to the position that you're supposed to be at. Now, we've discussed a whole lot of topics and many of you have been asking, how do we support the channel? Firstly, we'd love for you to subscribe and switch on the notification bell so that whenever we post, you're the first to know. We'd also love for you to share this video. Share our videos with as many people as possible to conscientize them and teach them on how they can lead and go after a prosperous South Africa together with us. Now, today we're talking about the Unemployment Fund, the UIF. Now, if you work, you would understand that in your salary, 1% is taken away every single month and it is given to the UIF. Another 1% is taken from your employer and it is put in the UIF. What is the UIF? The UIF is the Unemployment Fund, which is an insurance fund. Unemployment Insurance Fund, which ensures that when you are unemployed due to unfortunate circumstances, you can continue to get pay even though the company that you're working for is maybe bankrupt or is no longer continuing. So it's some form of insurance that you are forced to pay if you work in South Africa. No one is exempt from it. Every single employee in South Africa pays for the UIF. Every single business pays for the UIF. Now think about it. 2% of each salary, whether you're getting 5 million rand a month or whether you're getting 8,000 rand a month, 2% of your salary goes towards UIF. The UIF is collecting billions every single month. Now, because of cater deployment, a system where the ANC literally employs people that are part of their secret committees, that has now crippled the UIF. Big business in South Africa wants the UIF to be put under administration. Basically, all the corporates and all the businesses that are paying the UIF are saying, put the UIF under administration because we've been paying, but the finances of the UIF are not doing well. Our money is being abused. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it becomes important for us to understand that the UIF has a responsibility to invest that money in order for it to grow so that the UIF continues to have a fruitful fund in case of any emergencies like COVID. What we've been seeing is that the UIF has been looted. They're literally investing those funds into dodgy business deals. Ministers are getting involved. Politicians are getting involved to try and take money from the UIF. And what we're seeing is that the UIF is literally vanishing. The funds that we pay every single month are literally vanishing. It becomes important for us to understand that when the systems that are supposed to be growing the nation through investment are now going down, it's time for us to arise. It becomes important to realize that in other countries like Singapore, funds like the UIF are used to build the country. They're used to invest in projects that sustain the nation. However, in our country, the UIF is being looted. The investments that they're putting the money into are literally going down the drain. Now, you may be asking yourself, what do we do to fix this? What is the solution to fix this? The solution is one, to get involved in politics and to arise. The solution is for us to take the realm of political sphere and ensure that we put people that are not corrupt, that will do an honest thing, and that will ensure that funds in our nation are properly managed. Remember, it's not only the UIF that we have a problem with. SAA, Transnet. The Zondo Commission revealed to us that all of these systems are looted. So in our country, we have an issue where a government continues to loot every single state-owned enterprise. We join the voice of business unity in South Africa to say, let the UIF be put under administration and let politicians that are looting this fund move away from the UIF and let's ensure that the right people are put in power. If you want to know exactly what deals are being done that ensuring that the UIF is looted, comment below by saying, let's have a part two, where we become more practical about what exactly is going on in the UIF. Arise, South Africa, arise.